Hey, Mount Hood Territory, we are live today in Canby, Oregon, where we are having a very moving story. That's right, because we're hanging out with cows at TMK Creamery. This place has been around for a while, but they've just started making some very awesome cheeses, being a more public facing thing. I am joined by Todd, who is here to tell us what the theory is behind this business, because like I said, this is not a new business. Y'all have been doing this for a while, but kind of changed things up. Correct. Yeah, we, we uh, this was a 4-H proje project that got way out of hand. Um, I'm glad it's not so, still like at your house or yeah, something. No. That'd be bad. So we ended up, uh, you know, through a, a tremendous family effort, we ended up building the facilities here and uh, I've been milking cows uh, for about 20 years. And his hands are not even tired. That's impressive. <laughs> So, I mean, as you said, I mean, this is a dairy. You were selling the milk to other businesses and then decided, hey, you know what? Let's kind of keep our own milk and do something cool with it. Yeah, I mean, um, Tess and I always thought that it would be awesome to take our products to the, to the end consumer. And uh, we uh, sat down with, you know, with the family and everything and decided that uh, um, we were going to build the creamery and just pump all our milk in there and make cheese. And there you go. <laughs> and, I mean, as one of the, the theories is, you know, I mean, you know, good, well-treated, unstressed cows make good milk, which makes good cheese. And I mean, you guys really, you know, kind of treat these cows almost as if they're family. Yeah, they all have names. Uh, some of these cows are actually descendants of the very first animal that I ever purchased as a wow. 12 year old. And, um, you know, we've always when, he, when I was 12, I was buying baseball cards. He was buying cows. <laughs> I just tried to show who was doing something with their life, not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a business out of it. I just sold my baseball cards for nothing, so I think you win. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, our whole thing was that we wanted to be super transparent. We wanted to show, you know, let people see everything that we do. Um, and yeah, we, is there, it all starts with the, how you take care of the cows. And I mean, they're obviously happy. I mean, they were, you know, trying to walk around and get pet. I know Molly was petting them while she's filming. So <laughs> I think she's gonna have a pet cow here at home before too long. I don't know how your neighbor's gonna like that. Hopefully not in an HOA. <laughs> so you, you mentioned um, the grain, and that's you know one of the big parts of uh, what keeps them happy. So all the feed, so all the hay stuff, so we, uh, we make all the hay, we make uh, in the corn silage, and then we also partnered with Sasquatch Brewing on getting their uh, spent grain. So we, uh, we get their spent grain from their brewery, and then they uh, in return get some of our cheese. Gotta love that local partnership <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So how many uh, milking cows do you guys have right now? Right now we're about 20 cows. Oh, wow. Okay. And they average, we're averaging about 73 to 75 pounds per cow. Whoa, so that is a lot of milk. They're doing all right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're putting out some good, uh, good production there. <laughs> I know my boss would be like, God, I wish my employees were that productive. <laughs> so, I mean, from, you know, beginning to end then, how long does it take, um, you know, from like milk to cheese to market? Well, obviously it depends on the, on the cow or on the cheese product that you're okay. making. But I mean, the cows get milk twice a day, every day. Wow. Um, and then we're making cheese three times a week. So, and then, you know, depending on the type of cheese that you're doing, you know, I mean, all the cheddars and the aged cheeses are at least 60 days old before they go to market. But, you know, a fresh cheese we can have out uh, in, you know, 14 hours. Wow, that is really fast. So um, people, you know, they can actually come and see kind of, you know, see these cows and everything. You guys, like you said, are real transparent. So how, how does that work? Well, we, we always thought uh, when we started this thing, we thought it would, it's always way easier to show people than tell them. So we figure what, you know, I mean, we, we take really good care of the animals. We are putting it into a, a, a product that we think is really good. And we want people to be able to see the whole process. And that is something that is actually, you know, kind of integral to your theory is, you know, people need to know what's in their food. Yeah. And you're really kind of just bringing that to light here. Yeah. And we have control of the process all the way through. I mean, so we start with the feed. We make the feed. So then, and then we take care of the cows. We milk the cows and we put it over in the creamery and we make the cheese. So we have, you know, we, we touch the, the process the whole way through. All right, speaking of milking cows, uh, they've informed me I will be milking a cow. <laughs> so this is gonna be a whole adventure and Jared doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Um, I'm just the kind of guy who looks at cows as I drive by on the highway saying, moo! So um, I'm sure I'm going to completely look like an idiot, but let's have some fun and milk a cow. All right, so we're in the milking area. I am joined by Mark, who is Todd's brother. Again, family operation. And I am going to learn how to milk a cow. First off, I've been warming my hands up because I don't think I want to, you know, 
put very cold hands on the cow. That'd be utterly disappointing for her. Yes, I went there. They made that pun. Um, all right, how, how does this work? I have no clue what's going on right now. <laughs> so what we're going to do is prep her to get ready for milking. Okay. So we're going to dip her on each feet. Okay. That's just a disinfectant. Okay. And then we're going to wash feet off. Okay. Wipe teeth. Okay. With the rag. Okay. Dry them off. Okay. Get clean. Then we're going to strip out a couple of squirts. Make sure the milk's clean. Yep. Let's call on milk. Oh, so I'm not fully. Okay, so there, this is going to be automated. I'm yep. not fully. I feel better now. Okay. I can't completely fail. All right, you want some more grain, don't you? Yep. <laughs> I fed a cow. How about that? Now I'm going to do something more. All right, so how do we. St okay, so we're going to dip each one with this. this. Okay. All right. Go with your other hand. My there. Okay. Bink. Okay, it moved. Squeeze it to let. Oh, water I got some. Okay. There, there we go. go. Bink. Okay. Do the back ones. Oh, didn't even see them there. Hey, hey. <laughs> ah. okay. Jared, what'd you do at work today? <laughs> We're gonna wash feet off. Oh, okay. Grab that hose. Okay. Oh, okay. The hose. Wash the feet off. Squirt it that way. We'll make sure you squirt all this down and get it oh, that okay. way. So in case the claw does fall off, it doesn't fall in poop. Okay. That's good. Much more tolerant about this than my dogs are, I'll say that. <laughs> You're gonna take the rag and start cleaning your teeth off. Okay. I am boldly going where I have never gone before. Okay. All right, so I am cleaning her off. She is very, very thankful for this, I'm sure. You wanted a nice bath. All right. Get this front one real good. Okay. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Now, you're going to strip out some milk. Okay. You know how to do it? Nope, not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> here, let me get in here. I'll okay. Show you. So it's just, okay, just yep. squeeze down. Okay, so we got to do that on all four? Yep. Okay. Just like that. All right. Hey, that's not as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, watch it, lady. Nothing's happening. <laughs> there we go. All right. I am milking a cow. I'll take things I never thought I would do for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> all right, are we looking good? Yep. All right, so now we do the actual machine that does all the hard work. Yep. What we're going to do is start from the back rear. Okay. Here and the front. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so. Now you're going to hold this. Oh, okay. Just like this. Put your hand right there. Okay. And then I'll hit start. Okay. Stop. Okay, so this one. Yeah. Okay, so this one goes here. Oh, the far, do the far side first. Okay. Nope. This is the near one. Oh, okay. So we gotta do this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. I milked a cow. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go see where this milk goes and become some really awesome cheese. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I'm all sanitized and cleaned and hair netted up. I don't know why I have one on the top of my head. There's nothing left to fall out. The beard I get, totally want to be clear. But I'm joined with Bert. Bert is like the head cheese nerd here, which I think is like the most awesome title ever. I'm actually really upset at my guidance counselor for never letting me know that was an option in high school. As long as you like long hours. You know what, <laughs> if I get to eat the cheese, I'm happy. That's, it's totally worth it. So Bert is kind of walking us through the process. We've actually got some action happening right now. The milk that we just saw being made by all those cows outside is now coming in here and doing stuff. So what, what's going on now? We're just transferring it through, uh, through stainless steel pipe and to our pasteurizer. Okay. You can... We're this thing was empty like five seconds ago and now it's like got a and ton of milk it, in there. It holds... It will, 
Mm-hmm. It holds 200 pound, uh, gallons. That's a lot of milk. So when it comes in here then, this thing is gonna heat it up and kinda just start getting everything happening, or? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the agitators on so it doesn't separate. Oh, okay. And then uh, get the temperature of the milk up to 145 minimum. Wow, that's warm. You drop one degree, you start over. Really? Yeah. See, again, there's that attention to detail and that precision that makes good stuff. And if you have to start over, then you're going to lose recovery. So and you're probably going to get a lot of cows that are mad at you. Or Because I just made that. Or the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Them too. So 145 minimum, um, 30 minutes, hold it at that temperature. Wow. And then you pasteurize. It kills all the bacteria, good and bad. So if you overheat it, you're going to kill too much of the good bacteria that's already present in the milk naturally. Okay. Then, uh, so cool it as fast as possible. 200 gallons will probably take us an hour to cool it. Uh, be a, same, same thing, instead of running hot water through the vat, jacket it, we run cold, chilled water through it. Okay. It's just a radiator, basically. Yeah. Uh, Cheese radiator, I like that. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> then we add our ingredients and what you do is magic. It's, so, it, it's amazing the amount of ingredients you put in there, such a minute amount well, and what it does. And then how long does it take from like start to finish, from like milk and a cow to an actual finished chunk of cheese? What's the actual length of time it takes for that? Well, they milked them, what, an hour ago? And we'll be in here 12 hours, 13 hours. That quick to have something ready to eat. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That is actually um, really cool. For fresh cheese, of course. Yeah. Anything else that's not fresh, we'll just have to age it. But uh, you still nibble on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nibble, scarf, you know, whatever you can do on that. And, you know, this is, in the, in the big picture, this is a baby. This is small. <laughs> but we're not looking to get big. We're just personalized, uh, handmade, good old-fashioned farm steak cheese. And it's delicious stuff. I can't wait to try it. it. I know. I've, I've had some before, but we I'm going to try some, some stuff here. Yeah. yeah, we had some in our office, but I'm going I'm to try some stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Okay, agitation. so yeah, let's see how this thing goes. Make it's sure we don't it's always fun nothing. watching this stuff happen. That way it doesn't separate on us. And we're probably halfway. You know how many? 1,640 uh, pounds. Wow. So... It's a lot of milk. It's about 12 gallons in, uh, per 100 pounds, so 16 times 12, maybe 170 gallons. Well, so let's see what the next step is. So okay. after, after we're done here, we do all that stuff, the heating so, and then the cooling. So this is going to get um, processed via adding the cultures and adding the rennet and letting it set. Then you cut the curd, so okay. you end up with curds. Okay. And then you heat it back up to 102 and drain the whey. And um, it's amazing to see the, the science behind it. It just separates. Everything just happens. It's magical almost. So we'd, we'll drain the whey and send it into our uh, silo tank because it's against the law to dump it down your drain. Yeah. It's horrible for the environment. But it's great for feeding the cows or, pest or spraying oh, it. Oh, okay. Um, so then after we drained it we, and we cut it, then we have to uh, form it in these, some of these molds. We'll oh, be making okay, so that's what's going today. on here, okay. This is a cheese press that we had a, a local school, sure, make this for us, right? Is that correct? Oh, so a local, so a bunch of kids actually made this, a bunch of high school yeah, kids, I'm assuming? Yeah, it was like their finishing project. Wow. Love well, getting the communities involved well, like that. Very cool. Uh, uh, it's uh, Oregon Technical Institute. Okay. OTI. And so how much weight do you have to put on these things to, to get it to go? That's an excellent question. Uh, careful. And sometimes they like to stay with. <laughs> yeah, well, um, to make cheddar, <laughs> for instance, that's one of the, uh, you have to press the hardest. You could drop it to the tips here. It won't go no more. So um, back to the weight. It's 500 pounds. Wow. Per square inch. 
Holy cow. If, if it's only four inches around, these are 10 inch. So the numbers are astronomical. So instead of bringing all them weights in here, we just went to the pulley system. Yeah. You know, good old Egyptians. Hey, you know what? They knew their stuff. They yeah. can make big giant pyramids. I think they can if help they the can cheese, right? If they can move pyramids, I think we can press some cheese. <laughs> That's wow. that's a big one there. Oh, let's! I gotta see this coming out. Yeah, um, that's cheddar there on box. Look at that! Unfolding. That is cool. There's a cheddar. Well, that that's enough for me to eat. I don't know about anybody else. That's about my serving size right there. Let's go taste some cheese. All right. <laughs> so, how much does something like this weigh? Uh, it should be right around 20 pounds. And then you guys you, just slice this can, up and package it. You can from here if you like. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's you know, get my workout in at the same time. You know, this, this is actually how I can uh, consume calories and burn them at the same time, <laughs> is just do some curls with the cheese. That way my coach doesn't get mad at me. Oh, that is a good and recipe. then it makes a beautiful platter. So how many different cheeses do you guys make here? Well, uh, is this every single one we have? No. Just a couple. This is just a sample. Yeah, we didn't want to overwhelm you, but. <laughs> No, please, overwhelm me. Coming here by, this is the head behind the cheese. <laughs> Get a head cheese maker. Oh, this is the head. <laughs> very good. Three kinds of curds. So we've got a garlic dill, a ranch chipotle, and a plain. Ooh, ranch chipotle. And then uh, this is a pepper flake cheddar, a smoked pepper flake, uh, plain cheddar, uh, garlic cheddar, smoked cheddar. Now, all, the, the, all wow. these like ingredients go in before you do the pressing thing. Yeah, so it's, right it's before we press them, we add it, except for the curds. The curds are added after when we go to package. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll, um, if you do it before, it, it, it kind of, they, they're supposed to squeak when you bite them. <laughs> the squeak, squeaky cheese. Yeah, squeaky cheese, okay. And if you do that prior, it, uh, it kind of takes the squeak away. <laughs> Refrigeration, that's the same thing, but okay. not as bad as sitting in them in that mess. Yeah. So, wh so where should I start then? If we're gonna if we're gonna try some of this stuff, I will start with the uh, the plain. That okay. way you don't. Okay. Well, you don't disturb. Poke one of these guys here. So this is the plain cheese curd. Yep. You gonna join us? Mm. No. <laughs> oh my god. Normally curds don't have much flavor, but that is that is fantastic. Well, that's that's, I, you know, of course I make it happen. No, it's the cows. The cows, if, if you treat them right and they're not stressed out and they have all they need to eat, the right amounts, the right portions, right times, consistently, they produce excellent milk. See, it's just like in real life. You treat your employees well, you get a good product. Here, you treat the cows well, you get a good product. Quality in, quality out. And that's why the cows were happy. All right, so if we move from but there. But I'll take all the credit. Yes, we'll, we'll give it to the cheese nerds. <laughs> because, you know, because the cows, they're not going to know that they got an award or something like that. Oh, you know? we, we show them, but I think only one of them speaks Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> all right, you got me on That's that one. <laughs> so I got, I'm really curious about the Chipotle one. Love a good little whole okay. cake. Mmm. They're all, mm. you know, it's, mm. it's subtle, but it's there. Just the right amount. Yeah. Just enough to enhance the flavor. It's a, it, that's a sinful flatter right there. <laughs> you feel guilty after you eat it. This is like the best Christmas present ever. Um, I would definitely try the smoke. Okay, which one was the smoked? Right here. This, uh, this okay. is smoked plain. This is smoked pepper flake. Okay, let's start with the smoked plain. And it's in-house smoke. We smoke it here. Mm. I think uh, the amount of time uh, we sit it in the smoker and... Uh, but that's really good because, I mean, you know, some things all you get is smoke. It's like you just went into a house, house fire and breathed deeply. I'm glad you said that. that but in I this case, it's like, it up, but it's like a subtle smoke, but it doesn't override that creamy cheddarness. It's exactly. just they complement each other exactly. well. Exactly. I feel like I should have a glass of wine going now, too. We had that earlier, but <laughs> that Mexican cow took it. <laughs> Darn cow. Uh, All right, so then the, the smoked pepper flake. We'll do one more. And I know, I mean, there's only so many, but yeah. this was a big crop flavor uh, during the summer um, mm. at the Saturday markets. Mm. That's the deal. The one you're eating now is the pepper flake smoke. Is that your big deal? The, this, yes, that's the big deal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
You need, you need one, just like in case somebody gets really hungry, it says, in case so emergency break glass. In case so. In case so emergency. I like that. I was hoping you would. Where'd you get that from? I made it up. Really? Just now? No, it's a pun that I keep in my back pocket whenever I talk cheese. <laughs> which is actually a lot. Anybody in the office knows there's a cheese conversation like in once a day. In case of emergency. All right. I have a bag of chips there. Yeah. <laughs> and the glass of wine. Yeah, good glass of wine. Well, so, you know what? As a cheese nerd, you are doing a fantastic job. This stuff is awesome. It's, um, it's a passion. And if, if you're not passionate, try something else. Don't get into cheese. Yeah, and you know um, what? You have to love it. Love it, love it, love it. Or it's just, it's not going to happen. You know what? I say in anything, no matter what you do, whether it's sports, whether it's food or anything, if you've got passion, it's going to show through in the product. And in this case, it really does. This it, stuff is awesome. Even, even the, not that we have bad days, but even for you, you don't understand what went wrong, love it. <laughs> love it. This is a guy who's having fun with what he's doing. You can tell. So how do people get their hands on some of this cheese? That's the next thing we're going to find out before we close out the video today. Thanks, man. This is awesome. Thank you. All right. We are now out in the barn. I'm back with Todd, and he is showing me all the adorable calves. I want to take them all home. They want to be my friends. Um, this is where, obviously, the process starts. Yep. And I get to feed a calf. This is the best part here ever. Who's this? This is Big Black. Big Black. Big Black. Big Black. <laughs> it, and you know, the thing is, I'm like, it is pretty big, actually. <laughs> so how, how old is this calf? He's about three weeks old. All right, three weeks. This calf is three weeks it. old? Yeah. Oh my God, you are huge for three weeks. <laughs> All right, so how long does it take for a little guy like Big Black here to become a full milk producing uh, cow? Two years. Two years, okay. Yeah. So that's a lot of love and care for two to before you can get to that point. You keep yep. going down. All right, I will go where you want to go. <laughs> All right, so if somebody wants to uh, uh, try this cheese, where, where can they uh, try the cheeses and everything? Uh, we're in locally with uh, Cutsworth Thriftway in Ebner's uh, Custom Meats, and then also a local milk run. Now, uh, you guys are doing tours and stuff, right, too? We're gonna start, yeah, we're okay. finishing up a retail store, and so we'll, uh, um, if you follow us on social media, we'll uh, have it posted, and hopefully by the first of the year we'll be uh, able to have people out here to see the whole process. All right, so we've got the Facebook page tagged and you guys are online too. Uh, what's the website? Uh, TMKCreamery.com. All right, TMKCreamery.com. You can get all the information when the tours start, hours and everything, where to find the cheeses out there um, in uh, the public. You're gonna wanna try those cheeses, they're awesome. Thanks for having hey, thank us, man. You very this much. is awesome. Thanks for doing our chores. I'm having like, <laughs> wait a minute. I thought this was a park. Now I'm realize I'm working. What the heck? This is the awesome day, folks. And you're going to have a great time if you come out here too. And you're going to love their cheeses. Check out TMK Creamery online. Check them out on Facebook. Better yet, taste some of the cheeses in person. We'll see you next time on Mount Hood Territory Live. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to feed a calf.